Look what arrived. I'm very happy about this. This is the dress up for my wardrobe to organize that whole area. So today I'm gonna put this together and then do a whole bunch of organizing and it's gonna be so satisfying. building uh, it might be an idea just to make sure that it actually fits in the space right so that I don't build an entire piece of furniture and it doesn't actually fit it's gonna sit up against the baseboard down there and there is plenty of room to open drawers so I'm good to go let's keep keep building I've already made a mistake I put the screws into the wrong side of the board so thankfully at least they're all good but these holes are for the drawer runner things this thing is from Home Depot and I've never built anything from Home Depot. I only usually go Ikea and this is so much easier. It's way easier to just screw all the screws in. It's like really buttery and soft and I don't know why I'm explaining wood that way, but it's very easy to screw everything in. And the instructions are really simple as well. So I'm all for Home Depot in terms of ease. This is, this is pretty simple. <laughs> Drawers are in the cupboard uh, and disaster has hit. I knew there was something wrong with my doors and this front one seems to have fallen off its thingy and oh my god, now it's stuck and I don't know how to fix it. Oh man, I need to get that thing back onto that thing and I knew something was wrong because they've been really like stiff lately um, and like hitting each other when they're next to one another so it must have been coming off this one. I actually thought it was the back door. That was the problem, but turns out it's the front door. I can't even move it. Okay, all right. Well, I have a set of drawers in here, but you, you can't get to it. I managed to move the door over. I need to fix that, but here is the drawer unit and it fits perfectly. It is actually a lot higher than I thought it was going to be. I thought maybe it was going to cut off about here. I really didn't read the measurement because I was more concerned about the width of it, but Oh my gosh, I love it. It's literally perfect for the space. So now I just have to build all the drawers and uh, fix this door. Why? Why does nothing run smoothly for me? First problem is officially solved. I was trying to attach it by the entire wrong way. I thought I had to do it from the back side, but you actually have to do it from the front side. But we have two functioning wardrobe doors now, so that's all that matters. Now it's time to work on the drawers. I started doing a couple of them, and I'm actually really happy because the knobs that come on the drawers are detachable. They're these really awful old school white ones. And for a minute there, I was thinking that maybe they were glued onto the drawers, but they're not, which makes it so much easier to just put on my new black t bar handles.
It is snack time and it's cute. They send me two sets of chopsticks like this is for two people. Uh, no, this is just for me. Uh, this is one of my favorite things to get from Lee Chen Bistro. I get the pork belly bao buns, which are so good. I had them in person once when Bronwyn and I went out. It was in a vlog actually, when we went to the museum, it was in one of my weekly vlogs. Had it there, thought it was the best. And so now I order it all the time. The other thing that I had that day was the soup dumplings and they're so good. It comes with like a little dipping sauce. I am starving. It is lunchtime. And then once I finish eating this, I can get in and finish these drawers. I've still got a little way to go. I hate building drawers. I feel like it's the least favorite part of building any type of furniture. Okay, back into it. I think I spoke too soon before when I said this was easy to put together. These front pieces have been so difficult to get those screws in, but thankfully they are done. Now, all I have to do is just start putting the drawers together. completed one drawer. I still have about five to do. And as I said, I hate doing drawers. They just take forever. But I think the T-bar handles look really good compared to those old wooden ones that just remind me of like the 90s furniture. So I'm really happy with it. I just gotta keep going. This thing I swear is taking me all day. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little over building the furniture. I tried to find something on Facebook marketplace, you know, so that I didn't have to buy something brand new and something that was already constructed. But unfortunately, find anything that was the size that I needed for the wardrobe so I had to go new which is kind of annoying but it's fine I found something that works and I guess it's just a little annoying though because I have to spend basically my entire day building this thing and it doesn't really leave a lot of time for other things this afternoon but uh, at least this is just one thing organization wise I can just check off my list. Okay, I am finally done with all the drawers. I'm just gonna go grab the handles and then, oh my goodness, we can start putting stuff away. together obviously because it's cheap uh, the gaps between the drawers are a little uneven so I had to play around with it a bit and move some of the drawers around but I really like it I think it's nice there's plenty of room for the door to be able to close over it and oh my gosh it's just it's gonna create so much more extra space in here which I'm so happy about so I guess now we can just start putting things in there
I just moved some stuff around. So I've pulled my dresses from the end there and I've got them here and then shirts, pants, and then smaller jackets there. And then behind me, I ended up pulling out all of my bigger coats and my winter coats. And these can go into the front coat closet. making some progress I still need to get some bins for up the top there for all of that stuff and now I've got this feeling that I want to put a little bookshelf up here if I can get one that's the same width as this and then I can display some of my handbags so that it looks nice in the top drawer I've got socks bras swimwear oh, I don't remember what's this uh, hats and hair related things I think my beanies can probably go in here too and then I think I've got belts down here. Yeah, belts and a little belt bag. And then in the bottom one, I have clutches and then also sunglasses cases. So that is just making things so much easier in here. It's really big and it fills up the space a lot, but I just, I really like having the extra storage, which is great. It's also nice having a coat closet because I have basically a whole other wardrobe out the front, but it's a disaster and it needs to be cleaned itself. I went and had a look online and there is only one little bookshelf that I can find that is the same width as these drawers, but it is 80 centimeters high. So that does take that all the way up there. And it's one of those weird ones that has three cubes on one side and then two half, I don't know, a half shelf on the other, but it is only, but it's not very expensive. And it might be a good way to display my bags maybe. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about that. But at the moment I've just got like my three most used bags, which is my Munchie at the back, my YSL and then my Chanel at the front. But I'm so happy with it. It makes me feel just so much more organized now. So I'm very pleased with that. I'm just having a look at some of the storage bin options online. The only problem is, is I don't really know what I want, whether I want some little cubes or more like actual plastic storage tubs. I feel like cubes look so much better, but they usually don't hold as much. I might get the plastic tubs for the front cupboard because, oh my God, I really need to work on my front cupboard. It's, it's bad. It is getting so dark in here. I'm just going to make myself a decaf coffee because I just need something warm for this afternoon. I also might change the water on these flowers because it looks a little gross. But um, yeah, it is uh, getting dark early because daylight savings changed the other day. So it's now 3 p.m., just after 3 p.m. and it feels like 6 p.m., it's crazy. fresh water for the flowers and I actually really love my little coffee station thing at the moment. I got rid of half of the stuff after I had to put everything back after the party and I think this just looks so much better. The only thing that's going to make me a little sad is that when it's time to give up the pumpkins I just I love it and I think it's cute and I, I don't really want to get rid of it but I might replace it with like a little Christmas tree or something. This coffee is exactly what I needed. I now have to deal with the little shelf that was in the wardrobe, but I have an idea for it. This little drawer system, I was trying to figure out what I should do with it. I originally purchased it for under the bathroom cupboard, but it didn't quite fit. And now I'm thinking I might put it in my office and put my printer on it for the time being because my printer's just on the floor and I've rearranged some of my office furniture and I need something to go in the corner where the printer is. Right here in the corner, as you enter my office, I just have my printer on the floor. It is right next to a PowerPoint. And I think this would be a really great thing just to stick in the corner. The printer can sit on it. I also might even put paper in one of these drawers because then that'll free up some space in my cupboards that are behind me. I don't know, I just think that's a good idea. I might get something that's a little bit more stylish and sturdy there eventually, but I feel like it's a good place to stick it for now. And the reason that there's now space in that corner is because my desk used to sit here and now I have the desk at an angle against this big corner pillar over here and I like it a whole lot more because it frees up a lot more space but it also brings me closer to this window where I get all the pretty city views so I just really really like this setup a whole lot better. I'm 
really happy with it. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it's definitely functional. This top drawer has the paper for the printer in it. And then underneath that, I just have a bunch of my colored whiteboard markers because I have a whiteboard up on the back of the door that I use for organizing my YouTube videos actually. And then I don't know what to put in the bottom drawer, but I'm really happy with this. And then I turn behind me and uh, who wants to judge me for my mess? I have Christmas decorations over here. This uh, Joe, Joe Fresh bag has become my little temporary garbage bin. I have a bunch of DIY stuff from the Halloween party on the floor that I have not had a chance to put away yet. And then I actually did change a few things up here. Uh, this green vase does belong in the bathroom, but it needs to be repainted and then sealed. And then in the corner, I bought some pampas grass off Amazon and it is in the little vase that I DIY'd from Ikea. I have a black candle and then this gold candle holder from Anthropology with a taper candle in it. And then I moved this thing, what do you call it? A pitcher from my bedroom in here. And I think I just prefer it in here. I'm going to do some other stuff in the bedroom. I really want to take the plastic out of the front of this frame though because it's so glary and it's just picking up the reflection from all the windows and it's not just a camera thing it's an in-person thing and it's it's not as nice so I actually might take the plastic out I also have this little candle from Bath and Body Works and then my lamp from Buclair and then my Dyson in the corner but yeah this is a project that I said at some point somewhere on the internet that I wanted to finally finish styling and organizing this room in what are we now what month is it it's November so I'm getting there I'm not too far off I just I need to tweak a few little things you know right now I'm filming sitting at my desk and I just I so prefer having the diagonal desk especially with this giant pillar I know it's really common for uh, apartments to have pillars in the middle of their well, not in the middle but in the corner of their corner apartment rooms whatever I know that's normal but I actually really like the diagonal desk and I like my background. That is my whiteboard that I was talking about on the back of the door. It's like got a big calendar on it. It's taking me up until about mid December. So I'm thinking sometime soon, I'm gonna have to wipe that all off and start again and like get me over into the new year for organization. But uh, yeah, it is almost four o'clock. I actually have a coaching call at 4 p.m. So I need to prep for that right now. <laughs> 